All right. Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, I'm going to make this quick because I don't know if the, the computer's actually recording me or not. Um, summer school. I'm in summer school. Yay! God, it really sucks. Uh, I only took three courses, um, business law, marketing, and small group communication. Um, I thought three courses would be, you know, not so bad. I was really wrong. Uh, three courses is a shit ton of work. A shit ton. And when you want to talk about a ton of something, you don't want it to be shit, because that's a lot of shit. Uh, it's way more work than I anticipated. Way more work. Um, I mean, it's not undoable. It just means I have time for very little else, which kind of defeats the whole benefit to there being a summer. I guess that's why they call it summer school. Aside from that, it cost me $4,000 for four classes. I'm taking another class in June. It's online only. Um, but I just want to make that clear. I'm only taking four classes. I'm a Phoenix, Arizona native. And it's costing me $4,000. Four. That's $1,000 a class. That's crazy. This is a... If I was going to Harvard or something, you know, maybe I could I could possibly see it. But I'm, a, I'm an Arizona resident, and it's the state university, Arizona State. It shouldn't be $4,000. <sighs> but that's okay. It's, you know, nothing I can do about it. Getting upset about it doesn't uh, solve anything. Moving on. The marketing class. A lot of fun. Steve Blasco. Great fella. Very entertaining. Um... I'm not going to do my Blasco impression because it might be, uh, I've told, I've been told it could be considered um, insulting, and I don't want to be insulting to Steve, to Vince, not Steve, I really said Steve, don't want to be insulting to Vince, Vince is a great guy, I like him a lot. Um, I will say this, uh, damn you Vince for uh, focusing on the milk campaign, it was a great campaign by the way, the Got Milk campaign, but ever since then I have just constantly been craving milk and Hostess cupcakes. All the time. And you know what I found out? You know what I found out? There isn't a damn place on campus, not one damn place, that you can get Hostess cupcakes. Oh, you can get milk, but you can't get the Hostess cupcakes. You can get Farley's cupcakes or Freshly's or whatever, but that's just not the same thing. Um, <clears throat> small group communication is a online-only class for group communication, for small group Communication, online only. That's fun. Um, business law is is great because um, I don't think it's illegal for me to say that this now. But I've worked for um, MCI, Voice Stream, Sprint, uh, Chase, Oxford Life Insurance, WorldCom. Large companies, uh, a lot of companies that dealt with contract law of various types, and it's. It's fun delving into that. Uh, today we went over um, discrimination and sexual harassment. That that was fun. It's always a pleasure for me to see a group of people get sexual harassment wrong. Um, quick tip for everybody out there. If the question is, is it sexual harassment, the answer is always yes. Uh, sexual harassment is one of those messed up things where as long as someone says, I felt harassed. That's it. You're screwed. You're over. Song and dance is done. There's very little recourse. Someone says you sexually harassed them. The best option is to simply say, I'm, I'm sorry, I was unaware of the conduct, and move on. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of to help you. Um, in all of the corporations and businesses I've worked for, every single one, including FedEx Kinko's, has had sexual harassment training, and there were, none of the training said what to do in case you were falsely accused of sexual harassment. That's not addressed. Um, other things we talked about today were for the contract law. I'm looking forward to turning in our presentation on Enron, my team. Gotta say, I'm very proud of my group in business law. Unlike every other team I've ever been on, these guys aren't idiots. So that's, that's a big plus for me. Um, and we got to learn all about Enron. Wow, are they evil. Whoa, I mean, they were really, really bad. Um, by the way, in case anyone's watching this who might be of this proclivity, um, profit is not a moral reason for anything. Profit is, uh, is a motivating factor in business, but profit does not ever create a moral excuse for immoral behavior, ever. That means you can't say, well, I understand it's wrong, but I made profit. 
that's not an excuse. That's saying that you're a money-grubbing bastard. Done! <clears throat> and I want profit. I, I want a lot of it. I, I like the idea of being rich. Um, oh, Fetish Prom. Fetish Prom is great. Uh, by the way, if you are unaware, uh, Fetish Prom, a little event put on by Horns and Halos, they put on fetish events four times a year at least. Uh, fetish Prom just came up. It was a prom formal attire. Of course, it's fetish wear formal attire. So uh, I wore my uh, nice pinstripe pants and a... Uh, fishnet shirt with a bunch of leather collars and chains and such. It was a, it was a fun time. Uh, fun time. Lots of sexy people, lots of sexy spanking and such. Michelle got herself a glow-in-the-dark blogger, so uh, looking forward to that. Um, I'd like to give a big shout-out to the girls at 7th Heaven. Uh, it's a new sexy clothing store on Scottsdale and something. It's south. I think it's just south of McDowell. Um, they helped me out. They got me my uh, fishnet shirt. And when I, I wasn't feeling the shirt so much, one of the girls actually took a key ring off of her keychain and used it to sort of pinched up the back of the shirt. And she's like, here, let me just get this thing right here. And then she does this, and the whole shirt goes wink, wink, wink. And then it looked awesome. And I, you got to respect that. She was really working for the sale. And I, and I respect that as a capitalist, so I had to buy it. I'm also mad uh, props to the Fetish Falls crew and Fetish Alive. Those are both great stores to get sexy and cool clothing. Um, and toys and such. Uh, next event is the Arizona Fetish Ball that's in October that will also be happening at the venue of Scottsdale. A wonderful place. Uh, inside it's a whole in indoor mock-up of like a, I don't know, I want to say somewhere between New Orleans and Old West um, like, you know, street, just a street front where you're walking on this cobblestone street and there's a bar on either side and there's a second floor and there's balconies and there's stages and music and people putting on weird shows and all sorts of liquor and booze and vendors and half naked people and, and it was it was it was really awesome. Um oh uh mad props to the Abrahamson mom. Uh finally got a hold of that Genesis. Uh so thank you uh thank you Brian and Luann. I I appreciate your your old toy. Um, so I have been playing Sonic 2 and a little bit of the Gargoyles and such and I love having a Genesis. That is just that is just awesome. Um, upcoming events, by the way, Darwin's always a fun time. Um, we'll be having Michelle's birthday party there on June 27th. We'll be having karaoke that Saturday night, June 27th at Darwin's. Always a blast. There will be cake. There will be singing. There will definitely be drink, drunken madness. Um, there's more to it than that, uh, cool tapes. I uh, can't get into too much stuff. I'd like to give a couple of reviews, but I'll do a separate video for that. Um, oh, I'm going to a chiropractor now. Yeah, how about that nonsense? Um, really great guy. She, he, uh, started helping Michelle with her migraines, which, by the way, she doesn't have anymore. Um, and then he comes in, he's giving me a discount rate because I'm a student and I don't have any money. Um, and he is awesome. Uh, his whole staff really makes you feel comfortable. They really seem to know what they're doing. And I feel great since I've been going there. Um, if you, if you, you guys have known me for a while, you know that my... Uh... Anyway, I run like a five-year-old. Uh, that's due to a weird thing with my spine and my hip and knee and all this. And he's trying to actually get that all fixed. And with any luck, I'll be running like a adult man at some point, which would be a first for me. So that'd be pretty great. Um, this is way longer than I intended. So... While there's other stuff I'd love to say, I'm going to have to cut it here and hope that this actually recorded. Talk to you later! Talk to you later! Okay, um... I'm a little tentative to say too much because iMovie is being such a pain. I'm more than a little disappointed in Apple and iMovie at this point. Not going to go into that long story if you want to hear about the frequent trips I had to make to the Apple store to get the computer to function and how they couldn't figure out why iMovie wasn't working. Go ahead and check out some prior videos. This one's supposed to be on new stuff. So